Mm -hmm. Music's biggest stars were shining on one of music's biggest nights. Right, and after a pandemic-related delay, the 64th Grammy Awards took the stage in Las Vegas last night for the first time. There were epic performances and excited winners. Danny Bacchus was there. We are John Baptiste! John Baptiste won the Grammy's coveted award of the year, album of the year. It was one of five he took home for the night. I, I just put my head down and I work on the craft every day. I love music. I've been playing since I was a little boy. The duo Silk Sonic kicked off music's biggest night with the high-energy Vegas theme song 777. They also won four Grammys, including record and song of the year for Leave the Door Open. We are really trying our hardest to remain humble at this point. But in the industry, we call that a clean sweep. The fast-moving show featured more than a dozen performances crossing several music genres. Grammy's host Trevor Noah addressed the elephant in the room right off the bat with a joke about the slap that happened at last Sunday's Oscars. We're going to be listening to some music, we're going to be dancing, we're going to be singing, we're going to be keeping people's names out of our mouths, and we're going to be giving out awards. Olivia Rodrigo! 19-year-old Olivia Rodrigo won three Grammy Awards, including Best New Artist and Best Pop Solo Performance. I mean, this is my biggest dream come true. Thank you so much. The Brothers Osborne, nominated nine times, won their first Grammy for their song, Younger Me. And you're like, for the rest of my life, I will have been a Grammy Award winning artist. It was amazing. The show paused to honor the people of Ukraine. Lay down, soldiers. For the first time ever, the Grammys took place in Las Vegas after COVID-related delays moved it from Los Angeles, and it felt like a pre-pandemic gathering here on the red carpet with a lot of energy and excitement. To be locked away for so long and be back, it's, man, it's extra special. For those in attendance, this year's Grammy Awards was a night they won't soon forget. Danya back is CBS News, Las Vegas. The Foo Fighters won three Grammys for Best Rock Performance, Rock Song, and Rock Album. They, though, were not on hand to collect their awards or to perform as they were continuing to mourn the untimely death of their drummer, Taylor Hawkins. Yeah, very emotional, though. 95-year-old mm -hmm. Tony Bennett capped his career with his 20th Grammy for his final album with Lady Gaga. He made a pre-taped appearance and introduced Gaga before she sang a solo. Here is a funny moment from last night. Doja Cat featuring SZA one best pop duo group performance for kiss me more this is SZA slowly walking up to get her awards while using crutches and you're wondering all right SZA's there SZA's the feature where's doja she's in the bathroom <laughs> Tim walking in the room got there she made it she got it i mean just barely got herself put together but she was ready to go <laughs> it happens it's it a, does when you gotta go you gotta go she just exactly the time. and it's got to be hard when you're at the grammys riley you know you got to get the whole <laughs> let's course. be honest like it's, it's not like her a little extra time that's to work right with. it's that's not right. like you're just sliding your sweats off uh, to that's go to true. the bathroom it's a bit of a production <laughs> that's true yes but that's right when you gotta go it yeah. just happens right